I mean, a brilliant advert. Brilliant advert for women's football. Edge of your seat stuff. Yeah. You saw the crowd there. Stanway, what a, what a fabulous goal to win it yeah. as well. It really was. Um, once we once we won 1-1-1, one, one, we look the, the most likely to go on and win it. Is in-game management, yeah. in particular, trying to change a game that's not going your way. And tonight, Serena Wiegmann made big subs, taking off me, taking off Kirby, taking off White. Yeah, that's like taking off Harry Kane. Yeah, what a result from the Lionesses tonight. Jason Cundy, Hello, what a performance. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. I really enjoyed that tonight. It was a battle. The girls had to dig deep. I, I, I thought uh, I thought Spain for the first hour of the game were the better side. They were. I, th- really I, felt, good side. I felt we gave them a little bit too much respect. I thought we sat them off, off them a little bit. They're good on the ball. And I thought, actually, they were good value for their 1-0 lead. I thought that they were the better side. Yeah. And we didn't really lay a glove on them. I felt that we did. You know, once we made a few subs, credit to Wiegman there to making the subs. She used every single sub throughout the game. Um, you just heard um, Faye there t- talking about the last substitution. That was kind of forced upon her with, with Walsh coming out. looks like, like cramp. But the <laughs> subs that she made, she bought off Mead, Kirby and White. Yeah, three, big players. three of the most influential players there. Yeah. Not afraid to make the big decisions. I thought that when Toon came on, she added something. Greenwood as well. I felt that that she added something down that left hand side. But the substitutions changed game. Big bold decisions, mm-hmm. brave brave mm-hmm. decisions. And I felt over once we got the equaliser. I felt we were the better side. Yeah, I felt yeah. The, we, we, the we Spain, had the edge, didn't we? All of a Spain, sudden, the, the was goals, on front foot. Goals change games, right? We have we often say it, but it's so true in football. The reason you say it so many times because it's so true. Spain really were, were, were coasting, and I felt that England once the last fifteen minutes before we scored the goal, ten minutes, I felt we started asking a few more questions. Yeah, but once we got the equaliser, brilliant goal by the way. The run from Tone. Oh, you know, if you look at what Tone, look at what she does. She like reads a Frank the run. Lampard goal. Do you know? I thought exactly the same. Reads the did the ball from Didier. Yeah. Is he going to win it? Knocks it down and, and arrives. And I felt that I felt that Spain were knocked off their stride and they never recovered. Mm. We went from strength to strength. I mean, a brilliant advert, brilliant advert for women's football. Edge of your seat stuff. Yeah. You saw the crowd there. Stanway, what a, what a fabulous goal to win it. Yeah. As well, it really was. Um, I mean, well, I mean, honestly, it's it's one of those. Yeah. They had to find a way. Football matches, you know, you don't always win them. The best side doesn't always win, but you've got to try to find a way to turn the game back in your favour. How can you do it? Mm-hmm. The, the, the the manager Serena done her bit. The players done their bit. Once we once it went one one one, we look the, we look the most likely to go on and win it yeah. in, for what what was left. It's excellent, I, girls. But I mean, superb. It was absolutely fantastic. And what an advert, Jace. You know, yeah. we, we, you know, we've been watching the women's games, and we've been, you know, we, we've we've done a show. What was it a couple of weeks ago? Yeah. And people were phoning up saying, "Oh, I'm not having it," and yeah. you know, this and that, and you know, comparing it to you know, the men's football. But that tonight was a proper international football match where every, they were both going at two really good sides yep. but the quality yep. and and you know the fitness and the passing and the movement I just no, we, we were both sitting in there we yeah. really enjoyed it I, th- I felt Spain's technical side of the game yeah, for the very first half good. really good one and two touch down that left hand side they kept getting overloads on that left hand side and we had problems and it, it, it took, a, took us a while to get that sorted out but I felt oh, once we got that equal as I said I felt we were good for the win yeah. You know, up until that point, I thought Spain were, were, were the better side. But we found a way to, to turn the game and get ourselves back on level terms. And once that happened, mm. the crowd were behind the girls. You, you felt Spain, you know, you can see a body language of a side. Yeah. You know, you can see, you felt the Spain's shoulders. Yeah. Oh, we're so close. What, what, what they, they're f- six minutes from, uh, plus whatever the ref's going to add on. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, just a brilliant advert. If there's anyone watching that game tonight, that had any doubts about what women's football can do as a spectacle. Yeah. If you don't, if you can't, if you can't phone up now and say I was wrong, then you, then you don't love football. Because that that was a brilliant ever, brilliant game, edge your seat, and you hit the, the crowd singing. It's coming home. I mean, look that now you watch the country get behind the girls. Now you'll you'll feel a big wave into the semi-finals next Tuesday. Mm-hmm. We'll be taking calls straight after that. I mean, it's just I mean, it's, it's one, of, yeah. one of those very found well a way. It was tough. But they found a way. Let's go to Colin, who's a Spurs fan as well. Colin, good evening. Hi, Jay. You all right, Jay? Yeah, good, Cole. Right, Cole. Good, Cole. You know what, right? I just want to say, um, watching the women's football over the last, you know, few years, how much it's, it's, it's come on. It's unbelievable. Watching them now, it's just unreal. They, mm. The way they're playing football now, I mean, mm. what's going to be like another couple of years, another few years? They're getting better and better and better all the time. But you know what, That's Colin? Tonight. Colin, you... It's an inspiration now. 
Yeah, no, they were. They really were. I mean, mm. it was a fantastic performance. I know me and Jason, we we, we done a show a couple of weeks ago, and it, there yeah. was a lot of people still phoning up and and were like, "No, yeah. I'm not having it." And you know, they were you know, you know the, compa comparing it to wrong. the men's teams and and you know, saying young lads yeah. could beat this side. Not tonight, no way. I mean, if you're watching you know that and you didn't enjoy it and you weren't involved yeah. with yeah. what you know what the women's game can produce, in my opinion, you're an idiot because yeah. that was absolutely sensational to watch. It really was. It's brilliant. Do you know what the one thing is, right? The way the, the girls have been playing is when they are uh, when they score, we score bang, 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 we bang goals in one after another. And that's why we beat teams by a, a good amount of goals. Yeah. But if Spain's idea tonight was go, do you know what? We need to score first because they we don't know how they're going to deal with that. We haven't we don't know how to deal with that. So that's it's shown tonight. We have showed such a different side of us. But you know, it's mm. not just about us scoring goals. You know, we can we can come back, battle, and the team, like I say, Millie, Millie Bright was absolutely brilliant tonight. Yeah. yeah. And Did I you... just want to say, Leanne is so, her uh, commentary is absolutely brilliant. Yeah, Leanne Sanderson, absolutely fantastic. Can you imagine her yeah. being married to Sam Matter face as usual. Brilliant. Can you imagine her being married to Fenty? You wouldn't get a word in this way. It's none of them. <laughs> <laughs> no, I work with Leanne loads. You, never, you, you don't get a word in. Um, yeah. Look, Colin, just Brilliant. just going just going forward now to get into the semi final. Surely we, teams now will look at you know this England side and say, "Got to be favourites." Do you know what? It's, but we've shown another side to everybody tonight that we've got. We don't have to score a goal and um, keep it tight. Score a goal because like with the, our first game, we held it tight, tight, tight. And we scored them. Then the same with Norway. As soon as we score, we score goals again. But tonight we proved a, a, there's a totally different side to our team that we can fight for anything. Yeah. And that's where people are going to think about it. Yeah. Yeah, once, you know? thanks, yeah, once we... Thanks for the call. Once, once Spain took the lead, it did feel a little bit like... How, I'm not sure we can get back into this. Because no. Spain were by far the better side. We said, didn't we, Jace, at the start of the game when we was watching, we were saying Spain looked a bit fitter, yeah. a little bit stronger, they, sharper, a bit sharper they on did. the ball. Now, all of that. All of that. And we was looking at England going, oh, maybe we might have got found out here. All, all of that is true. But it's a 90-minute game, and, and this is where Serena Vigman deserves a huge amount of credit. It's, it's in-game management. How can I turn a game that's going away, that's, that's, that we're not really controlling? We're getting, I felt Spain were by far the better side. Not necessarily getting outplayed. That, that, that's not quite the game. But, but Spain looked untroubled. I don't think we really, the book especially used, didn't really lay a glove on them. Didn't get close enough. No. And then the substitution chain. He felt the game slowly but surely was turning into England's favour. Mm -hmm. And once we got the equaliser, you just felt, you literally felt yeah, yeah. England grow six for eight mm -hmm. and, and Spain go to five for eight. That's how the game went and that's yeah. consequently as it turned out. Yeah, brilliant. Let's go to Matt, who's an Everton fan. Matt, good evening. Good evening, Jamie. Good evening, Jason. Well, it's a pleasure to speak hey, to Matt, you again. And you, Matt. And you. Go on. What do you want to say about this, the game tonight? Fellas, um, I, I can't lie to you. I'm absolutely buzzing. <laughs> Huge congratulations. Really, honestly, it, it's I, I could sit here for hours and it still wouldn't be, be adequate enough to give the kudos and congratulations yeah. to not just the girls, but talk sport in general. And I'll, I'll make the point of why, lads. Firstly, on the pitch, you know, listening to that tonight, um, Millie Bright, Ella Toon, Georgia Stanway, mm -hmm. Lucy Bronze, mm -hmm. Kira Walsh, Serena Rigbin. These are going to be household names. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the paper is going to be covered yeah. with it tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And a lot of that comes down to, and I want to mention before I go into the commentary team, Faker Others, she needs a huge pat on the back for pushing this hard. And I, I was one of the people who had, was circumspect about the, the, the Lionesses. And I listened to her and I thought, I'll oh, give it a chance. And I wish... You know, in light of what Simon Jordan said last week, if he doesn't enjoy watching the game, please listen to it on TalkSport because it was absolutely riveting. I, I, I defy anyone that likes or loves football not to, not, to, not to watch that Englishman, woman, to watch that kid, not to, not to come away being absolutely enthralled yeah. and absolutely gripped because that was and Jamie said at the top of the show tournament knockout football at that international level that felt like I've watched England the, the men over yeah. many many years yeah many That's years right. and, and, but the right. girls found a way today it's magic I've got, I've got another point fellas go on mate. Um, if if the men's team I mean I'd love to see the women go one step further and win the European Championships than the men's did yeah. now if the men's the men's players need inspiration for character um, commitments drive watch the game and if 
Gareth Southgate needs inspiration for how to manage a game. Watch Serena Vig- Vigman. So, so what are you saying was- there, Matt? What are you suggesting? Are you suggesting that, that Serena Vigman's in-game management there has been better than Gareth's? Absolutely and inextricably. Well, I, I have to, I have to say, I have to say, the, the substitution. That's where the managers earn their earn their money in many different yeah, ways. In game, but, in different but ways. Re, yeah. Where where they really do get paid the big big dollars and the big bucks yeah. is Sub. in game management, yeah. in particular, trying to change a game that's not going your way. And tonight, Serena Vigman made big subs, taking off me, taking off Kirby, taking off White. Yeah, that's like taking off Harry Kane. Mm. Bringing on the subs, at, and still with plenty of the game to go, by the way. We're not talking last 10 minutes. 58, 64, 59. Big, big subs, big, big decisions. Yeah. Southgate didn't make any decisions in big games. Well, I look back over the Croatia game, and, I, and the reason I talk about it is because it, it still sticks in my throat. Mm. You know, 1 0 up, you know, we, but, but the better side. Yeah. Really, really the better side. Lose it 2 1. 1 0 up against Italy. The better side. Don't go on to win the game. And tonight was different. Serena Vigman did it in a different way. She managed to get us the team back onto level terms. And then, can you close the game out? And mm. the girls did it.